recent Tom Dina project with Farmhand, a software and data analytics company, work to devise machine learning models that detect chili crops from satellite imagery. The goal was to produce a model that can detect farms in India and which of those farms grow chili. This can help farmhand assist chili farmers in India with field level insights to optimize fertilization and irrigation schedules as well as streamline the supply chain. Over eight weeks, multiple task teams worked together towards a solution. The modeling task was split into two problems field boundary delineation model, FBDM, and a crop classification model. The team produced two models for FBDM following existing published research on state-of-the-art methods. The first one is in TensorFlow and uses a ResUnet architecture, which has a UNet backbone with multiple parallel address convolutional layers with different dilation rates. The second one uses a fractal ResUnet architecture, which is similar, but has fractal ResNet building blocks with telemodal attention layers instead of the address convolution layers. The implementation was in MXNet. Both models relied on transfer learning. The teams first trained them using public data from Europe. The pre-trained models were then fine-tuned on Indian farm data provided by our partner Farmhand. Both models also relied on multitask learning during both pre-training and fine-tuning learning to predict each field's extent, boundary, and distance to the boundary. The fine-tuning in India was done on partial labels in case of data deficiencies. A mask was created to be able to exclude the unlabeled areas of each image from the loss function and from the calculation of the metrics. And finally, watershed segmentation was applied as post-processing to obtain the individual fields predicted by the models. The fractal ResNet model had better match use correlation coefficient score, while accuracy and F1 were similar between the two. The results achieved by both models are impressive, given the small and irregular Indian farms, the limited Indian farms data set, and the relatively low resolution images used. We expect these values to improve significantly as our partner obtains further ground truth data and retrains the models. The next modeling problem, classifying chili crops, was approached using a clustering algorithm based on time series data on four relevant vegetation indices. The results were then visualized. This model can be used by applying it to the areas that our FPDM model predicted are farms to detect the ones that are growing chili.